Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. In this video, I want to show you how you can recreate the cool kaleidoscope effect that they use in the opening or intro of Netflix newest cool series called Dark. It's actually very easy to do, but of course the footage I'm using isn't as cool as they use in the series. But of course, I still want to show you how you can do this so you can use your own footage to recreate this effect. So let's get into it. All right guys, so let's take a look at how they created this effect. So right here, they only used one video clip. It was horizontally flipped and then cropped. So you can see two parts. Same here, same over here, even though it's, it's zooming in. Um, no idea if they did that while filming or in post-production, but I will show you how you can do this in Premiere, no problem. Same effect, even though they put this face on here and they probably set the, uh, the clip to multiply or overlay, something like that. Maybe they created a mask around it, I don't know. Okay, so this gets interesting. They uh, did a horizontally and vertical flip. Um, so it has actually four clips over here. And then they flipped that whole sequence again over here so that's interesting i will show you how you can do that no worries okay again one clip this however seems to be rotated because the floor is over here okay two clips one of the eyes it has been flipped from the center and one of the road again flipped from the center and both clips have been cropped 50% and maybe they added a layer here to create that sort of feather gradient like thingy. All right, so there's different variations of the same effect, but let's just get into it. So as you can see, I've already prepared it a little bit. I haven't applied any effects yet, but I just made a few sequences with a few different clips. So I have a main sequence in 1080p and I have a lot of sequences in 4K. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these sequences. Over here, I have a sequence of me uh, walking around. What do we have in here? Okay, some cars. Well, okay, let, let's start with this one. Uh, we won't need the audio, so right click the video clip, unlink it, and just delete the audio. And now, Hold Alt, drag this clip up, and now we're gonna look for the flip effect. And let's apply the horizontal flip. Boom, there we go. Now look for an effect called crop. Apply it, and let's just. Hmm, which way do we wanna go? Of course, we can crop the right part. Oh, that actually looks sick. Look at that. But we could also, let's see what looks better. We can of course also crop the left part. <laughs> That's pretty sick as well. Um, as you can see, this only took a minute to do. You just need the flip effect and the crop effect and you're already there. But um, let's get back to the 1080p sequence and let me just import the uh, sequence we just created. As you can see, the footage is a little shaky. I wasn't using a tripod, but uh, you get the deal, right? So now we can actually scale this clip. And if you wanted to zoom in, you could create a, uh, a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and a keyframe at the end of the clip. So let's say we want to scale it to 55% then this happens okay that looks pretty cool but we're gonna delete this for now and we're gonna play around with copying this clip so we're gonna start by moving this clip around I 
I'm gonna crop it again. There is no right or wrong here, guys. I'm just trying to create a nice composition. So let me crop the left side 10%. And now I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna flip this clip again. So horizontal flip. And now I'm gonna move it. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this clip two more times. And now we also need to add the vertical flip to the clips we just copied. So let me change the color of these two clips to make it easier. And we still have to move these clips down. Get down. Okay, whatever. Well, I'm not gonna spend all day trying to get the perfect composition, but you get the idea, right? And this already looks pretty cool. But um, if you want to scale this 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 whole thing we just made, uh, you want to nest these clips. So select these four clips, right-click it, and click on nest. Okay, and now you can scale the whole nested sequence. So let's go from 100 to 105. Uh, if you're feeling happy, you might want to throw an easy out on it. And now once you play it, you get this. And that's pretty much it, guys. It just took a few minutes to do this. And these effects look really cool. Of course, again, my footage isn't that awesome, but um, you get the idea, and I hope you can have some fun with this yourself. Of course, you can also do this with other clips, and I'll just speed this video up and show some more samples I did, and hopefully this inspires you. Let's go. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully this was fun and useful. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I'll see if I can help you guys. See you next time. Bye bye.